Hey, Bill, otherwise I won't get all these presents he's promised. Let's go home and do gilly things, like doing your hair and doing your nails. Have you got a good thing what gilly things are? Do you? Okay, okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. 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 And now our story changes scene from Castle Grand to Village Green, where the beast keeps out of sight, forgiving people a fright. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Come on, shoo! You know you shouldn't be playing here. What if the master sees you? Roar! Hear that? He's awake. Now go while there's still time, and, and don't let me catch you playing in here again. Oh, hello everyone. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Pierre, the prince's man-servant. <laughs> or rather, well, what was the prince before that horrid witch put a curse on him? <laughs> now, some of you might think that he deserved that, what with him being so vain and selfish. But actually, I've known him since he was a boy. And actually, underneath it all, I know he's got a good heart. I know it's hard to believe, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Otherwise, well, we haven't got a bando. <laughs> and the thing about being a recluse, it's made him into a recluse. A recluse. Good it when you go home. Right. It means he doesn't want to see anyone. In fact, apart from me and the new maid we've just taken on, he won't let anyone near his castle. That's why I have to shoo the children from the village way every morning. No. The problem with all the that, is that is, the curse can only be broken if a young maiden falls, falls in love and agrees to marry him of her own free will. And he's not going to meet any young maidens if he stays a recluse, is he? Oh. Oh. That's been my, that's been my master coming now. Don't let him, don't let him scare you. He's, a, he's actually a nice chap underneath it all. Voices in my garden. Oh no, sire, not you. Uh, you know how I never let any children in this garden at all, sire. You lie. Lie, sire. Who me, sire? Why, however, so dare you, sire? I mean, you know how serious that I take my job. I mean, there's no way I let any children in this garden. I mean, I'm quite frankly, I'm quite frankly, I'm what you think such a thing. Oh, hello, you big Ellie. Oh, hello, um, and I can tell you quite catty. Gorically. Oh, uh, Thayer, you're probably wondering who this is, aren't you? I don't believe you've met my mummy before. Silence! Oh, hear that, be quiet. Not her, you, you fool. Not you, me, you fool. <laughs> Come here, child. You don't run away like the rest of them. Do I not scare you? Does my face not frighten you? Why not? I can tell that you're lonely. You can? How can you tell? Are you lonely too? Are you alright, Dad? It's nothing. Something in my eye. I can't ever look at that. No! Me. Oh, go on. I'll do it for you. I said no! Oh. Now get out of my sight and take that child with you. Oh, come on, Chuck. He wants to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear, Jones. Is there the old beastie we see angry then? You, what are you doing here? Have you come to gloat? Um, well, actually, yes, I have. <laughs> How's it been going then since I cast that spell on you? I don't see any cure of beautiful young maidens lining up to fall in love with you. Perhaps they got lost in the woods, eh? Get out of my castle before I... Before you what? I'd be careful what you threaten. Remember what happened last time you threw me out of your castle? As it happens, I have to go anyway. People to see, spells to cast, you know how it is. Oh, what a beautiful rose bush. Speaking of which, how's that rose I gave you? Not doing too well, I hear. Lost half his petals. Tut, tut. If I were you, I'd take care of that rose. Remember, if it dies, so do you. Later, Beastie Boy. Mm. <laughs>